a star But you have to let it shine Let Hello it shine Hello viewers, so welcome to another exciting episode on OTT On This Table On This Table is where we talk about things the society is facing and also provide solutions to it and I am your beautiful host Deborah Amos. On this day we are going to be looking on a very very interesting topic which is human trafficking. Before I introduce my guest to you, we need to go on a short break. Don't touch the tie. Alright my people, better than come again. What am I talking about? Credit to fame, TV show, Papa. Our housemates are entertaining. They have more talents, so trust me, you will enjoy the show. How do you watch the show? Go on our social media platforms, Cradle to Fame, or better still, on YouTube at King's Prime TV. King's Prime TV on YouTube, so that you can enjoy the show. We have first prize, second prize, third prize, even card day. Now, how do you vote? Log into www.cradletofame.com. www.cradletofame.com. Click on your favorite housemate's picture and follow prompt. Voting cost 15 euro only. And guess what? On the fourth week, eh, ga, 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 raba, eh? I just stormed the house. Yeah, this is a dollar for me too. So on the fourth week, you go double choke. I love you all. Go to hide nonsense. short break. I have here with me a very intelligent, beautiful, young lady, talented, and she's no other person than Jane Dakarabo. Thank you, thank you. All those things for me. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm okay. Mm, you're yes. looking beautiful. Thank you. Mm. You're looking bad as well. Thank you very much. It's like you're a Catholic. Oh yeah. Yep. Wow. So how have been your um, experience so far? When did you start going to church? Right. Um, I was baptized. Wow. So, I can say, all through my life. All through your life, let's say, from there. Yeah. Wow. That's nice. Um, today, we're going to be looking at a very, 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 very interesting topic that the society is actually facing today, which is um, human trafficking. Wow, that's right. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very huge. <laughs> very, very, very huge. So, I want to know your own idea. What do you think? What do you have to, or how do you define human trafficking? Okay, um, from my own view, I can say human trafficking are those illegal activities mm -hmm. that, yes. that um, people indulge in when they have no separate mm -hmm. Or as I can say, um, it's the exchange of a person's freedom. A person's freedom mm -hmm. for personal gain, wow. which is the selfish gain that one. Take somebody's freedom just to gain profit. <laughs> it's very very huge. Okay, I want to to, to expand more. Like will you will you say human trafficking is actually a business, like business that people just choose to engage in? No, I don't say it's actually a business because um business are activities that are being registered, they are legal activities that are being But since we're talking about human trafficking, it's not legal. It cannot it has not registered, it can never be registered. So it's not a business. You understand? So um they are um organization. That people do um, form, normal people do form, and it's a profit organization. Because there are actually different um, organizations, non profit organizations, and profit organizations. That's why some people actually confuse churches and those other things as business, because they are non profit organizations. Mm -hmm. But human trafficking uh, on its own is a, it's a profit um, organization for okay. illegal activities. Okay, we feel okay. You know that what you're saying that um, human trafficking is not a business because it's not. Legal. So anything that is legal is a business. Is a business. Wow. Yeah, I want to ask you another question. So, in terms of human trafficking, uh, uh, what would you say about? Uh, is it that they have um, this set of person who are being trafficked? Like it just female or men who are being trafficked? Or what would you say? Or I want to throw more It's in that. it's oral. It's oral. Oral. Yeah. Um, both the female, both the male, or the female, are all victims of human trafficking because um, the men tend to be victims uh, when they are being used for um, hard labor. Hard labor. Yes, they can actually export them within or outside the country. Yes, so they can be used for hard labor. Some are used as prostitution. Yeah, yeah. For prostitution work. <laughs> for prostitution. Exactly. Even to even satisfy um, those older women, yes, that maybe. The husband was not satisfying them, or 
Yeah, not at Just a pleasure. Just <laughs> pleasure, yes, exactly. And those kind of people, they actually pay quick. So, me in, um, engaging that kind of business is something that I know that I will profit. It's going to be a win-win for me. So, I will do what I have to do to get my money. So, what will you say about the female aspect? The female aspects, they are the ones that actually have the um, major bad side because um, they are used for slavery, they are used as herbs, um, prostitution, and if, um, if they are used as help, it's almost the same thing as prostitution because some people, they are people that are actually working for. Okay. They tend to molest them in the house. Oh, wow. Yes. So they don't have their own rights. So it's um, it's very, 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 very bad actually. Okay. Like, uh, at what age do you think uh, um, the female are going to let's say the, the kids? Okay. They can be at at um, any age. Let, let me just use the word the age of nine to um, teenager. Wow. Yeah, because it's so difficult. Yes. Um, and those people get to all the things when let's say I'm a parent yeah. and I, I don't have money to my child. Yeah. I just send my child on the street on the street to pure water. Pure water. And me now let me just use myself as an example of a trafficker. Mm -hmm. And my 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 um bends are you know closing the road to the side. So I just see a child I'm like ah find it. I want to get to water. Okay. You have to the water then no I don't okay just just hop in. Let me just try to be and buy all the water. Then I do that and next thing she finds herself. Maybe in the warehouse. Screaming, shouting, <laughs> mommy, mommy, stalking them. <laughs> stalking them there. Exactly. So you keep them, you keep them, keep them. They don't keep them. Um, they train them, make them be who they want them to be. Yes, and their parents won't know if their children are still alive, if they are in the country or they are outside. They can settle. Like them or keep them in the country then when they are old enough to do what they want to them to do for them. Child trafficking is very, very wrong. Especially um, walking pure water, sending your child to pure water on the street. That's right. Um, you can say, um, before you be a parent, know that you're able to train your child. Yeah, train your child. Uh, that uh, answer actually brings me down to another question. So, are you trying to say, or are you saying that uh, parents, majority of our parents, are one of the reasons that have a major role to play in terms of um, uh, human trafficking? Yes. Because some parents actually push their child. Mm. Some push their child to the extent that they just do it out of their own will. Irrespective, they know that no, it's, going that to, it's going to affect have the child. Effect, yeah. Yes. And some people, they don't know. Just like. Or some people just, some parents just take it as. Be the sacrificial for the family. Mm. You know we are suffering. You are the only one that can. Bring us out of this. So they say, so they say she, she, she's the lucky one that you have appointed. Yeah, because I'm appointed to be the, the savior of the family. Exactly. So they just push that shadow. Just do this now. And then everybody will benefit. Everybody will benefit. They will feel that the person that is the one that is going to pass through the mental stress, physical stress, everything. Like I, come across, I came across a video some years back. The girl was stripped naked. Wow. It was in Liberia. So that person, now what is she doing in Nigeria? She went for business. Maybe they like to that I had a business for you. Maybe why they brought her there for prostitution. So the kind of torture that that girl was receiving, the kind of torture. If the parents of that girl see what is happening to that child, what would they feel? Okay, let's say the, the girl is actually a victim of the ones that are, the parents actually can't be disappointed and not see what your, 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 your land is facing. So it's actually a very, very bad situation. Very bad situation. Okay, um, there's another question I want to ask you. Um, well, I believe in this uh, human trafficking, there's actually something that actually prompts them in doing stuff, or they say the causes why, why need some Nigerians engage in human trafficking. Um, so, I want to ask you know, the reasons why they engage in this. And the main reason is that everybody always knows that it's poverty. Poverty. They say poverty is actually a disease, or poverty is a sin. Is it <laughs> like imagine, this? Imagine me saying that I have, I'm suffering from disease of poverty. <laughs> so it's actually um, poverty. Poverty is the major, major one reason why people indulge in this act. Because they don't see any 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 form of, of getting money. They're just like, maybe I just see a, a friend of mine. Ah, guy, how are you now? It's your business. How is it going? Use me. You don't know how the business. You don't know. You don't. I don't know how to do no self. I 
as long as he's bringing me money. I don't want to know. So I just uh, get in touch with this person. Let's see, this is how I get my money. Please, don't go explain it. Let's go. Show me the way. So once I once I'm in the stage of poverty, it's Sorry, but but please, I want to cut you short here. But uh, apart from um, poverty, like there are some some girls who their parents are ready on their own, but they still uh, find themselves in that situation. Like there are some children or let's say human beings who their parents are ready, but they just choose on human trafficking to engage in such acts. Greed, greed. To have more, money. more. I cannot, I cannot depend on. I can't depend on the. Um, I can't depend on my family forever. I cannot wait for my father to die. And there's before, no other business. Before, before I will eat his money. Okay. I cannot wait for my father to die for his money. So I have to make my own money in, on top of my, my father's money. So it's greed. Hmm. Wow. I'm really enjoying myself here. I really, really, really. And I'm learning more. But before we continue, we need to go on a short break. Don't touch the guy. All right, my people. Better than come again. What am I talking about? Credit to fame. TV show, Papa. Our housemates are entertaining. They have more talent. So trust me, you will enjoy the show. How do you watch the show? Go on our social media platforms, Cradle to Fame, or better still, on YouTube at Kings Prime TV. Kings Prime TV on YouTube, so that you can enjoy the show. We have first prize, second prize, third prize, even card day. <laughs> Now, how do you vote? Log into www.credultofame.com. www.credultofame.com. Click on your favorite housemate's picture and follow prompt. Voting cost 15 euro only. And guess what? On the fourth week, hey, ga, 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 rabba, eh? I just stormed the house. Yeah, this is a dollar coming too. So on the fourth week, you go double choke. I love it all. Oh, I have no sense. That very short break. In case you're just tuning in, this is um, OTT on this table, and we have been talking on human trafficking with this beautiful and wonderful guest with me, Jane Duka. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, as we say, apart from poverty, which other causes? You mentioned greed. Which other causes do you think is um, actually the cause of human trafficking? Okay. Can I can use um, misinformation. Misinformation. Yes. Uh, lack of information. Yeah. Lack of Actually engaging in such, what would they want to do? The, the less, uh, especially less privilege. And they are the ones that have the money, yeah. they still want extra money. But 
talk of what about our money. Oh, fast money, Cause yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can also say laziness. Laziness. I don't want to work. Well. I don't want to wear. Um, I don't want to do white collagen. White collagen. I don't want to go to office. I'll be pressing laptop. I'm sitting there watching like this. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, my hands spinning. Ah, so I just. Okay, what to fetch for money? No, what to fetch? Okay, first I want to you. Sir, I don't want to work. I don't want to stress myself. That one is very easy. Just. Send just gather some kind boys. Cool even lumps. even exactly the good ones. Just go and borrow one five car for rent. Give it to them. Do the work. Make people come. Then, but you know that these people say that they won't do anything themselves. The money that they won't gather themselves for those. I don't know if it's open business. Why is it said the business? That's why it's said business. So yeah. um, they don't want to work. They don't want to. According to um. The mentor of mine said there's no shortcut to success. Yeah, no shortcut to success. You have to work hard to get what you want. And okay, let me just let me just put this this quick story. Imagine me, imagine me. Um, just I mean a few months back. Okay. I was in a situation where I was I saw gone. Wow. Like those those long gone over my head. Wow. What are you going to do? My man was like, ha, God please let me. <laughs> you have a life. They did not take to pose. They take to pose my bend your head. What if I open my eyes, see myself in in UK? Dubai. <laughs> oh, like do you not say do this kind of thing? The kind of person I am, I cannot talk. You mm -hmm. just better kill me. Just kill me. So they were like, you know that kind of fear. Mm -hmm. I can imagine what I can imagine what guests are going through. Even with that train them one. Mm -hmm. I can imagine what they're going through. Being kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Being deceived. So those things, those things can actually it causes a lot of damage to to um, the head of our children. So it's very, it's very, it's very important that very important that we treat this issue as as soon as possible. Like they say, it won't be easy because fighting that fight corruption right before we move on, and corruption is still still here. Okay, what would you say about um, things of um, Kendo? Kendo. Oh. Yes. I, I strongly believe that um, peer group is another strong um, causes on human trafficking. I see my girlfriend with iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay. Me, I'm still using. 13. That is about 1.5 million naira. <laughs> and I'm and I'm having Android phone of 30,000 naira. Not even Android phone. Your mommy cannot even afford your Android phone. So I will see a picture. Ah, this picture is slow. Which one are you using? It's only I'm using a uh, competitive promise. Because oh my, you are enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, how do you get it? Mm. How do you get it? Then they said in my life, it's one, it's one, it's my boyfriend. Oh, she can I be? Then me now, that's okay, just, just show me the way. Everybody show me the way, show me the way, show me the way. So, they show me the way that I reach them. That is actually comes when the person can, can be lying to you. Then when you get there, Peer groups too, they can be uh, they can be part of the people that is actually doing work. Yes, just to gain profit. Yes. yes. So they are looking for people to love. Yeah. Me now, me now, I will not be able to suffer just suffer. Yeah. I will not be able yes. to get people and get money. Yeah. Then I will be the one to bring people that will actually suffer. So I will lure them, my friend, into the midst of your girl on top. Then I have a very very and someone that is living overseas. Mm -hmm. He likes so, your color. Exactly. <laughs> your, your color is shining. Mm -hmm. so when, when you get there, your color will spark fast when it's sparking. Understand? So, ah, who doesn't want the color to shine? Me, who want my color to shine? It's already shiny, I can see. <laughs> so, when they get there, it's not how they told, it's not the story they told you that they're seeing. It's something else. Yes, yeah, so, you just get there. But, sir, this is not the story I was told you. My dear, Mr. Aito, did they tell you that, did they tell you that uh, your father owns one company in this mm. place that I want to pay him out to bring my money? No, you have to work for me. Either you um, work as, um, as a slave or somebody, or even the protection is still slave. Mm. Because most of them will not pay you. Yes. They are paying them the money, they will not pay you. They will say, the food I'm giving you is for what? Because I'm buying for you. It's for what do you want money for? What do you want money for? They are actually living under my, under my roof. And I won't hide that and some do take hold on this aspect. Oh. Yes, they will take hold because um, they have seen or they've seen uh, a, 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 a situation where they cannot, 
they cannot actually go back because okay, let's just like some of them do it. It's like it's like a a guy who just is body cut food. Okay, you know if you want to belong to a court, they'll tell you that you have to take you have to swear the words, you have to do this. If you talk, you die. You don't say so. Me knowing the system, how this how this um human how the system works in human trafficking, and I just say, I mean, if I go now. Those people now they already know that yes, if you go. You know that I try to run away. Or it's not try to run away. You might you might inform the police. Police. Yeah. The raid. So your business will be I'm sure I'm sure that's so. That's why it's but if you do this, if you expose anything, if you talk, if you say the the the, the real work you are doing, you'll be killed. Because nothing is more than nothing scary is someone more than this. So you'll be killed. So those people have the fear that I don't want to send, I don't want to do anything, they'll just but, but, but what would you think about, um, mm, let's say, in terms of choice? Because uh, like the example you give in terms of the iPhone 13 and all that, I believe she actually made her own choice. Of she made her own choice of going. Some do know what they are going there to do. And also, like, the days they are going to be free. <laughs> like, freedom that might serve you for like 11 years or 10 years, I'll be free. I'll be a boss of my own. Mm, be a boss of my own. And also, be. <laughs> Yes, you will not be the, you will not be the other, the other ogre. Like other ogre, yes, madam, to be important girls. I'm telling you, I was almost like you. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll pass to this day. There's nothing there, just to suffer small. Then you actually get like me. So it's just a choice for me. Choice for me. Okay, it's getting interesting and it's getting tougher. I, I want to ask you, I don't know one. Uh, what do you think is the uh, uh, implication? They had implications with this all. Uh, what the traffickers um, do face? What are the implications? Um, the implications for for the guests, mm. for the guests. Mm. Why? Okay, let me just use the major word, the prostitution aspect, because that's the major the major work they do yeah. for human traffickers. So, imagine the guests being traffickers and they are doing prostitution. You can't get pregnant too, because it's business. That's huge. Exactly, that's huge. You can't get pregnant. If you get pregnant. That was for the business. So you have to take either you take precaution or you take after after um after um, action yeah. substance to clear the system to cross the system or whatever that comes. So why doing that continuously? Continuously. You can damage your own. In time you look for child, you see the village people. You'll be crying for child, you don't see child. You end up adopting. Can I imagine the traffic alive? I'll just <laughs> wow. It's a very like it's a very bad it's a mm -hmm. very bad experience. And um some have depression, depression because this is not what they want, this is not their dream, this is not how they see themselves. Imagine me, me being a child, I've always been dreaming that oh god, I want to be a doctor. Ah, I love civil lives. I love I love I love putting that what is it called? That uh ethoscope on my ear, I love checking the habits of people. So their dreams is not what is not how it's not what they are seeing, it's not their their main their main um, way of life. So they are shattered. It gives them depression. Some end up taking their life. Yeah, so there are a lot of lot of there's even there's even um um diseases like HIV, AIDS, gonorrhea, star, all those ones. All those ones causes um causes um AIDS infections. And they go out there. Giving their clients, their client going home, giving their wives, maybe their wives are cheating, <laughs> giving to that person, that person, giving that person. So they actually, it's actually bringing lots of of um, sickness, diseases to our environment. So it's a very, very bad experience. It's very, very bad experience. Okay. Um, what do you think um, the government is actually doing about this? Because I believe there is no country, especially Africa, that is not facing this uh, situation of human trafficking. What do you think are, uh, uh, let's say, solutions to this uh, problem? Okay, solutions to this problem. First of all, we have to work with our governments. We have to make them know the, the situation at hand. They need to know that um, this is very bad for our children. Because they say children are leaders of tomorrow. This one that the government is our organ at the top uh, and it's, very, it's going to be difficult. Uh, how so, would they try to so if, solve so this that's why So that's why it's still ongoing. If not, as had it been the government are not are not working um, according to this um they're not working they're not having strong agents. Yeah. Yes. 
this all these little guys seem to do that good. So that because don't feel like don't feel like if I have if I close that to a business, where will money come from? So they they are actually getting extra extra money. So it will be difficult. I will do, I will do, I will do. We will do we'll work, work, work. So um, they should just try to they try to get good agents that that will be placed in um on airport or anywhere of borders, yeah, borders. Yeah, yeah. So especially the uh, the orphanages. Yes, yes orphanages. because I, I I I've come to discover that there's some this um uh, how would I call them all this midwife that um owners of orphanages they engage in such acts like they they, they sell out children. So the government should, should do something about that. At least you know the numbers of children in a particular orphanage and get to know their numbers and all that. Although it's not it's not it's not going to be easy, but it's not what they cannot do. Okay. So they should record every bed rate. Yeah. For those for those children that don't have parents, maybe they lost their the mother are doing shelters yeah. and the mother don't have any family member. Oh. No if we're that child is going to go to the orphanage, you should keep record. Good because you should be kept. And um, not only child beds causes some um, children to become orphanage. Yeah. Some you just um, see children on the road, yeah. you take yeah. them to the orphanage room, and then just have the food they wear um food on them. Yeah. So yeah. if if a child is being brought into the orphanage room, you get a record. Anyone that is living, you make sure that this you make sure to to know where this person is going to the kind of family that is um, adopting the child. Are they well? Are they well organized? Mm -hmm. Are they are they into legal business? Can they take care of this child? Yes. So you get to put those um, information at at hand because it's 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 the, it's the life of the child. You won't imagine your child, even them that is going engaged, you don't want want their, their their children to to go through stress. Yeah. So don't tell that's what you want others to do for, uh, uh, do to you. So if you do something bad. Definitely just bad. know that it will come around. It might not be immediately. It will come maybe in your next generation. generation. Yeah. So they should just take they should take note of um, children like that. They should keep in touch with orphanage. They should make sure that they try as much as possible to get children off the streets because it's actually um, reasons why children get left alive. They should get children off the streets. If it's to find or look for works to um, enable their parents to take care of them, they should do so. And even speaking of government schools, so that they say government schools, government schools, governments are bringing um, their, um, their own method of training children to school. They still leave the parents with a lot of expenses nowadays. Mm -hmm. Government school of, now, of those days is not the same as yeah, yeah, yeah. this time. You don't pay anything, but now they still have to pay some. Now nah, some some schools do not have to pay half half of the school fees. Yes. So you can't say you are doing you are doing something for the for the sites and you are still benefiting from it. So nice. So you have to make sure that you get to the streets, you um, make sure that their parents have something to do to take care of those children so that they don't go back to the streets. And they also include include that um, um, wealth of the subjects in their children. So that exactly so that they will be informed, they will be informed right from of tender age. Tender age. And when you're informing them, don't just hide anything from them. Maybe you see that this word is too so big. You have to break it down for them to understand. Mm -hmm. So that they won't get to the stage of like I was I was not told. Or like the way they said um they told us that beans is floating. <laughs> Meanwhile it's carbon is <laughs> you see the line they gave to us. <laughs> yeah, so we are believing in that mentality. <laughs> exactly. So you see you see that you see that the way the way you 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 you, you teach a child is yeah. what they what they have of the Group. So if you, if you actually give them reasons, to, good good reasons why they should involve in those things, they should wear conscious, they should be informed on why this thing is bad. They will, they will know that if in case if they, if they meet an opportunity to be like, I know what I know what this is about, I know where this is going to head. Just be conscious of the environment, the state of mind, the way that yes, nothing lasts forever. Yeah. Exactly. Government should make to fit awareness, like in the big uh, interior villages, fit awareness, post seminar, teach them about human trafficking, ways to to avoid it. Okay, in terms of our parents' aspects, in terms of information, how do you think the solution? How can you provide solution to us? Parents should yeah. nevertheless um, keep keep their um, their financial background in check. 
because why we are facing most of these human trafficking because there's a lot of death rates. A lot, especially in Nigeria. We are youngest, we just be living less. I know of one, sorry, it's called the I know of one, one of my neighbors. This man has given birth to eight children. And the background, financial background is very, 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 very poor. And she's having pregnant, uh, she's pregnant of the ninth. The ninth one. I was supposed to go and move and uh, meet her. I was like, ah, take it easy now. Or I, I, was, I was beginning to think, like, are you sure this woman don't want to <laughs> children outside the country because that is the mentality they have like okay this one i will take this one to the bank i will take this one to china exactly. to be fetching money for me understand all, all, all the business are illegal illegal they're very illegal yeah. so that bed rate really really needs to be to be issued out yeah. like yeah. the government needs to be issued out they need to be they need to be given from seminars why ladies should should know how to call the women, sorry, let me say my old men know, to know um, how many children they should have. Uh, they should look at their financial background and work with it. If they are too involved in, let's say, in the sexual aspects, they should <laughs> take um, family planning out. Exactly. Very important. Very important. Because, because the, the, the best way is becoming so too much. much. So too much. Yeah. Too much. yeah. So uh, before, before we, we, we give it a wrap, so what would you say about um, in the aspect of uh, like we know the solution about our young teenagers who are going or who are lost after somebody else thinks they be, she's carrying Gucci bag, I need to carry Gucci bag. They should be contented. Like I said, nothing lasts forever. If you're in a very bad state, if you're in a poverty state, just just be hard working. Know that you have something that can fetch you money. And as you go, something something good work out for you. So we should be content and parents should also teach their children that what you have should be enough for you. No matter how small it is. Yeah, it's a chain of a child in very short So thank you very, very much. I'm so excited having you on this show. Yes, we've come to the end of this on this table OTT. If you're just tuning in, we actually discuss a lot. We discuss about um, human trafficking. I would like to know your comments and I would like to know about your contribution. I want you to follow us on all our social media handle. You can follow us on Instagram at Kingspam TV official, on Facebook at Kingspam TV and on YouTube at Kingspam TV. And don't forget to visit your favorite has made on Quido to fame. I still remain your humble and beautiful host, Debbie Amos. Stay tuned on Kingspan TV. Thank you. Thank you.